This might be the very first review that you're gonna see on the CAT 60 volt max, 18 inch brushless chainsaw. Let's go. So when I see the CAT logo, the first thing that comes to mind is large machinery. But now, CAT has entered the power tool market and outdoor power equipment. And here we go. Slide that right out. All right, here we have the charger, pretty good size, wall mountable. And then here we have the saw. And then right here, the 18 inch bar. All right, looking forward to testing this out. So it shows we have a brake right here. Got metal spikes, metal dogs. Like to see that. All right, so I can't tell right here, but it looks like there's onboard tool storage. I don't see that wrench offhand, but we'll have to go through the box a little more. I like these instructions. Very easy. I like pictures. Okay, so we're going to start off by unscrewing this. Let's be very careful. This blade is really sharp. Make sure you have the chain going in the right direction. All right, I'm actually going to put on some nitro gloves because I just want to make sure that I don't catch an edge. Make sure that's in the groove here. All right, trying to tighten this down here a minute. Well, there it goes. All right, this is interesting. I'm noticing the more that you screw this down, the tighter it gets that chain. Then when you have it where you want it, it looks like you flip it down and lock it in place. Then usually after the first time you use it, you're going to notice the chain kind of breaks in and stretches out a little bit. So just be aware of that. You may have to adjust the tension after the first couple minutes even. And then just reading the instructions, they say not to hit that part right there. So if you haven't run a chainsaw, that's where you get the kickback. You hit that, it could come flying back at you. All right, we're gonna add some bar and chain oil in there. So I like how things just flip up like that. Makes it very easy. I'm gonna fill that right up, right almost near the top and out. Want it to overflow. All right, so let's just do a quick test before tomorrow. So I have this battery right here with a full charge. Let's go. I just want to hear how this sounds. Oh yeah, that definitely balances it out nice having that weight right there. And then to start it, just push that button right there. It shows here that you pull it back. So it's kind of like two safeties. All right, we're gonna read through the instructions a little bit more and we'll have this ready to go tomorrow morning. First, I just want to point out some of the specs on the box. That way you can be aware of them as you're watching this in action right here. The rated voltage is 60, chain speed 79 feet per second. The bar 18 inches, the pitch is 3 8 LP. The machine weight, 16.3 pounds. Five year warranty on the tool, three years on the battery. And then besides the automatic chain tensioner, it also has an auto chain oiler. And model DG631. All right, so now that I've used this for a couple of days, I want to point out a couple of things that stand out to me. So one of the first things I like is the battery. When you push this button right here, it's on a spring. See how that just pops out? It's very nice. Same thing when you're putting it in, nice positive click. It's definitely a big, heavy battery. I'm gonna have to weigh this by itself. I will, uh, yeah, hang on, let me get a scale. All right, so we have the scale here. We are at six pounds, one ounce. Now let's try it with the saw. 16 pounds, two ounces. All right, so now the battery's out, it's gonna just point out on the bottom. So it looked like at one point they were going to have a wrench for storage right there, like onboard tool storage. But then it looks like they upgraded to toolless chain tensioning. So at first it seemed like it was sagging a little bit and then I had to 
look through the instructions a little bit deeper <laughs> and this is what I found out. So they recommend when you're tightening it to push down right here. So I have the battery out. So I'm push down on it right there and then snug it tight. And that has always kept the right tension on the chain. I've been very impressed with that. So you can see that's about exactly what you want right there. The oiler took a minute to kick in, but as you notice when I turned it upside down, after like the first cut I made with it, that seemed to help get the oil going through and spitting off the chain. Another thing I've been very happy with, the bar and chain oil doesn't leak at all. I've seen a lot of other chainsaws that start to leak a little bit over time, but in the few days that this has sat on the garage floor, it's been nice and clean. And then I like seeing these metal spike dogs right there. That's just something that's nice to have on a battery powered chainsaw. Okay, what we're gonna do right now is the 100 cut test. They're just gonna be real thin slices. I have a fully charged battery. And after the 100 cut test, we'll see how many bars are on here. So right now we have five bars. And then I'll get some measurements on the limbs. There's two different ones, different thicknesses. And just so you know, these limbs are both off a Norway maple tree that blew over in a storm about eight months ago. The tree was alive at the time that it happened, but it was a pretty major storm. Okay, let's get going. Do 100 cuts. All right, there is a hundred. <laughs> oh my gosh, you should check out all the sawdust. And if you want to know the power, two out of five bars are left. So I think this would cut an entire face cord on one charge. All right, we have quite a collection, some different sizes right here. Just a huge mountain right here of sawdust. All right, so here's what we're getting. They're probably close to five and a half inches. Then here's a larger one right here, somewhere around eight inches. So each one I cut here is probably equivalent to the average size piece of firewood. Here's a decent piece of hardwood. It's cherry and it's been dead for, I think a year and a half, maybe going on two years. It's really close to 12 inches in diameter. So we're just gonna slice off a piece and that way you can see the saw on something decent sized. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, definitely looks like it could handle more than that. So one thing for sure, battery powered chainsaws are gonna be much quieter than gas. So I've got a new decibel meter here. I'm gonna test it out on that and we're gonna hit the max button to see what the maximum decibels are. All right, according to this, 105.9. I should try a gas saw. I'm really curious how this meter differs. I haven't really used this meter much, so it'll be interesting. Harden 25.1, so definitely a big difference there. All right, so now after using it for a while, I definitely have to say that I'm very impressed with it. it does a nice job with that auto tensioning. You know, at first I didn't fully understand it. And then I read the instructions a little bit further and it's really done a great job. You can just see all the sawdust that it made. It cuts fast. And I'd say, you know, the balance is right there where you want it. It's a great saw and it is a prosumer saw. It's very easy to use. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. And then if you wanna see another cat video, I have a short playlist over here of some other products that I think you'll wanna check out. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.